Hey, my gorgeous ones, how are you today? I hope everything's going well. Do I say that a lot? I don't know, but I really do want to know how you're doing. Feel free to tell me in the uh, comments. Anyway, I am so on time this month. That's right, I am doing my favorites for February, and it's going to be posted on the last day of February. This is epic for me. For people who've been watching me, because I I can be late as hell on stuff, so I'm really trying to keep on point on my uh, scheduling. So, um, if you would like to see what my favorites are this month, stay tuned. Be right back. Right. So, let's do the favorites for February. Okay, so I'm going to start out with some... I think I'm going to do makeup last because that's going to take the longest. So I'm going to do a few things first and then we'll get into to makeup. So one of the first things is this Sensational Natural Soy Candle. Now I got this in Marshalls. I found their website. I got to find it again to link it in the description box. In the, um, but this is called Champagne Cheers. Now let me tell you something about me. I don't buy Bath & Body Works candles. I don't do any of that. I just go to Marshall's and get me some cheap candles because I, you know, you're going to burn them and everything. So I don't like to spend a lot on candles. So I go there and I see what I can find. So they had a stack of these. I'm going back to get more of them. There's another fragrance I got too. My daughter took it from me, but I have the champagne cheers. And oh my God. It smells so good. It's, it's like this uh, fruity smell that just makes me happy. So I did get this for $2.99, y'all. Now I went on their website and I think they still had these in the sensational because it took me a minute to find them. But they were um, more expensive. So I'm going to go back to Marshall's and see, can I find them? All right, next up is body washes. So I have this soft soap body butter coconut quench. Now this is what I use every, we've been using every day. And of course, it has that little coconutty smell, which makes you feel very like, um, you know, like you're in a tropical spot. And if it smells like coconuts, it's already won me over. I don't know about you, but if it smells like coconuts, me and them is like this. And it's a soft soap, and I really do like that formula for the pricing because you know, I don't. I, once again, I'm not one to spend a whole lot of money for everyday stuff if I don't have to. Now, yes, I do have some luxury things but this soft soap for like three dollars is a business now this one i don't know if you've ever had this but this is a caress one and this is called love forever they also have adore forever i have them both they but i like love forever more these have the, what they call um what do they call they have fragrance release pearls so when you wear when you wash your when you wash with it you, the fragrance comes off of you slowly. So let me tell you when you use this. Now, this is a really beautiful, sexy scent. I can't even explain what it smells like, but I know when, when I put it on, it smells good as hell. But the thing is, is that this is what you use before you go to bed. This is a before you go to bed, shower, you know, body wash. You put it on and you wash in it. And then you go to bed with your partner, your lover, your significant other, your husband, wife, whatever. And what happens is as your body's touch, it releases the fragrance. You see where I'm going with this? So it's a very beautiful, sensual feeling at night that, you know, that just connects you out a little more. When you, when you see flashing lights coming down your street, you'd be like, whoa, okay. So that's why, so I love this. This is this is like, and then you can wear it for yourself if you know by yourself and you just want to rub yourself and smell good. That's awesome too. But I'm saying, I personally use this for the moments when I just want him to, him to be like, ooh, baby, what was that? Adore forever. I mean, this is love forever by Caress. Okay, so the other thing is I went to Marshall's. This is TJ Maxx. I went to TJ Maxx and I got this sweater. Look at these sleeves, y'all. I don't feel like getting up. Okay, I'm gonna get up and show you. And then it's got like this little detailing on it. This is a this is a cashmere sweater that I got on the clearance rack for $30. 
This is 100% cashmere. It feels so wonderful on. And this was like the buy of my, uh, the buy that I got, at, you know, when I went shopping. Because I was like, oh my God, I've got to get it. All right, I'm back. Sorry, I had to do something. So, now let's talk makeup. Now, I don't have a lot of, I don't have a lot of products, mainly because I'm not buying a lot right now. I'm trying to put myself on, look, I'm on a low buy because my money a little tight. Just tell it like it is, Louise. My money's a little tight this month. So I'm on a low buy. I was in February on a low buy. So, but it also is for, what I'm wanting to do this year is to spend time actually trying out products i have and making sure i like them making sure i can review them and making sure you know and just you know being able to say honestly my my thoughts on it so this month in february i you know used more things that i actually had i have a few things that i bought but most of this was stuff that was sitting around and i hadn't even noticed it or didn't get to it and things like that so let's talk products all right, foundation. First up is the Maybelline Superstay Full Coverage. This is good, y'all. If you like a full coverage foundation, you don't want to spend a lot of money, this is a good one. Now, Maybelline just came out with it, so they don't have the shade range isn't as uh, inclusive as like the Fit Me because the Fit Me has like 32 shades or something. So there, this is just started. I think it has like 16 or something. It's still better than some of these luxury brands but it has um but this is a 24 hour i the, i have it in golden it's a little dark for me i should have got sun beige but i will tell you this this is full coverage y'all i prom now the good thing is maybelline to put a pump on something yes because the one problem i have with the fit me is there's no pump but this is a little more expensive so maybe we paying for the pump but one pump of this will cover my entire face. One pump is like medium coverage. If you do normally like two pumps of foundation, you will definitely get full coverage. And it's a very nice finish. It's like more of a satin finish. It's not a total matte finish, but it's more of a satin, which I kind of like better. And it doesn't break. It does hold up very well throughout the day. Now, I'm not the most oily skin, so I can't talk about it. For somebody who's more oily than me but for me personally i have a little oil you know my nose up in here you know my fo my forehead get a little breakage going but it does keep it good for about seven eight hours which is awesome so i do love i this is this is a good foundation i guess i should do a full review on it if you would like me to do a full review on it i'm not i'm still not doing wear test and yeah, i'm still not a, i don't i don't know we'll talk about wear test anyway Next up, I've been meaning to talk about this. Um, this was supposed to have been in my yearly favorites. This right here is the Laneige uh, Lip Sleeping Mask. You need this in your life. This little thing, now mind you, it's about $20, so it's not cheap, but you don't use a lot of it. I've had this thing for months, and I don't know if you can see that I barely put a dent in it. But I put this on every night before I go to sleep. And I promise you, it hydrates your lips. You wake up and your lips feel so soft and so moist and so plump. This is the stuff you need. So, you know, besides the fact that you need to drink water, if you're not drink, if your lips are super, super dry, you need to up your water intake. I'm just letting you know right now, that's part of your problem. But on the real to keep them very moist and hydrated, this is which this is business. And I know you're gonna say, well, that's just a lip, it's more than a lip balm, because I'm a lip balm junkie. But what it does do is it does really, I mean, it's just you just have to try it and find it out because it's just it's amazing. It's amazing to me. Okay, brushes. Now you know I'm in the Morphe Me Club. So I got a couple of br brushes here that I have fallen in love with. I have the E61, which is a highlighter brush, and I love it. It's nice and light and fluffy. It's nice and light and fluffy, and it, it picks up the, the product and it deposits it so beautifully on the skin. I absolutely adore it. And then I have this 
E23, which is a blend classic, a fluffy blending brush. And you see this for the eyes. I love this on my, um, doing my transition colors. It just, oh, it blends the color so well. You just, it just makes it effortless to get your colors on. Just absolutely love it. Oh, I got my little, my little basket right here. And then, now this I've had for a while. Been sitting here, haven't messed with it. This is the BH Cosmetics Studio Pro Total Coverage Concealer. I think this stuff is like five, six dollars. I don't remember. I'll have it in the description box. But it is a total coverage concealer. Now the only thing I don't like is I don't like the applicator because you tend to like you got to squeeze it out you got to squeeze it out and then too much comes out and i've probably wasted a lot of product but i promise you i'm gonna get some more because it is really a really good coverage it doesn't crease as fast as other ones now like i said i do have you know fine lines under my eyes and i am battling hard so i do expect some creasing it's just gonna happen but this honestly does fill in my fine lines very well. And that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for it to fill in my lines and keep me from creasing as long as possible. And that's all you can ask for in this world. And then I also got this e.l.f. What is this? This is the <laughs> under eye powder and peach. Yes. I love it. It's like $3. It's, and now they will be killing me with these little bitty ones. But honestly, you don't need a lot. You just need a little bit, pat it on, and then dust it off. And it really does brighten, and it really does set my concealer freaking awesome. So there. And then next up, we're going to go for a little lip because I got a lot of eye products. I got a lot of eye products with me. So I'm going to be doing a purple get ready with me because I was in a tag and I actually have worn this look before, but I'm going to recreate it and do it actually because I've made some tweaks. But anyway, when I w did this purple look, I asked my friend, she said, you need to find a purple color lipstick. And I was like, okay. So then I went and found this and I've had it for a while. Never worn it. Y'all know y'all. How many of y'all could say that? Like you got stuff that you just bought and you've just never gotten around to it. So this is uh, the NYX Liquid Suede in Subversive Socialite. I don't know if I want to do this swatching today because I got my cashmere on. And if I get anything on here, I might cry. But anyway, I'm going to swatch for y'all. Let me find my thing so I can take this right off. But this is a gorgeous, gorgeous, deep purple. Oh my goodness, it looks so good on the lips, child. And I, it's a liquid suede, so I can't say anything else about it. It's, it's one of my favorite uh, brands, uh, formulas from NYX. And then this liquid cat suit, one of my new ones that I did the swatches of in the car. I guess I should put that in the cards, the, the, my wet and wild new ones. And this is called Behind the Bleachers. And this is a beautiful deepened red. So I have a lot of um, blue reds, true reds, but this has a little um, pinky tone underneath it. So it's a little, it's not quite as vibrant. It's a little more muted. You know, they they brought it down some, but it is so pretty on the lips. And I really do, you know, I, I love the liquid cast suits. You can't beat them for $4.99. Well, I think they went up to $5.29 or something I saw in Walgreens, but you can always get them on sale. But I do absolutely love this formula. If you have not tried the liquid cast suits, you need to go out because now they have even more colors on their website so you can find a color that you'll like. All right, so let's keep going into eyes. Another thing that I've had for months, I don't even know why I bought it, but I had this is this Revlon Photo Ready Eye Art because I've been doing a little more, you know, glittery and sparkly and liquid colors. And I used this recently and I was like, where have you been all my life? So what it is, it has two different sides. This side is the... Um, this is on a, doe, on a doe foot applicator, and this is like the liquid color. So this is a beautiful blue. I don't even know if they still sell this color, but I'm going to check and see. And it's cobalt crystal. And so then this is the shadow, and then this is the sparkle of it. So then the sparkle is on the other side. Now, honestly, I don't really like the applicator to the sparkle one because you see it's this little thing, and it really doesn't work that well. But what I've done is I actually just kind of, 
you know, took the sparkle off with a with a brush or my finger and then put it on top after I let this dry. So this is gorgeous though together. Oh, oh, let me show y'all how these look together. So, you know, you get this beautiful blue and this is truly a sparkle. This is truly some, you know, glitter and some, so you need that on top. So I've used them together to make a little, in my crease, I was doing like this little crease look child and it was, it was really nice and I was so surprised. Now on to other liquid lip uh, eyeshadows. Cat suits. These are my liquid cat suits. I don't think I'm going. I'm actually going to do a whole review on a bunch of different liquid um, eyeshadows that I have because I've been trying them out and uh, to see which ones were good, what were the problems with them. But I do like the liquid cat suits. Now it took me a minute to really like them because I've been trying them. I actually like the ones like this one. This is called Shells and Whistles. This is a more of a a shimmer. So I like the shimmer ones more than I like the straight glitter ones. You know, these liquid glitters, because I like the liquid glitters because they make your life so much easier. You know, the whole steel of shimmer and glow, what is it? Glitter and glow and shimmer and sh shine or whatever it is. But I like these a lot because I like the glitter effect, but I don't like having to deal with putting, you know, getting glue, the glitter glue and then dipping it in the glitter and then putting it on. I like this because it makes it so much faster and so much easier. And I'll, I, I, I'm just not, I would just rather do this. So here's the, so the one, they have two different types, which is this, which is more glittery, you know, so it's got a more glitter effect to it. And then they have the shimmer ones. So, and this is a more shimmer effect. I like the shimmer ones a tad bit more for wearability because the, the um the glitter ones you know if you if you don't put them on correctly they will crack so what you have to do what I normally do is I put it on and then I close my eye and then I try to like fan it and dry it and then I go to the next eye and do the same thing um you can layer it but what you need to do is put a first a thin layer let that dry if you want to build up the intensity especially of the glitter ones you want to put a layer on, let that dry, do a thin layer, and then put another thin layer on top of it and let it dry. And that way you'll get the intensity you want without it cracking. Because if you put on too much at one time, you're going to get, it's going to crack. That's what I found out. And that's why I was frustrated with it. But then when I figured that part out, I've been okay. And I've had some really, really cute looks with them. I'm just saying. Now, here's three palettes. First off, y'all know I love the festival. I done, I done been playing with it. I done reviewed it. I done done three looks with one palette. My very first three looks with one palette. So it had to be on here. So yes, I do love Juvia's Place, the festival. The festival. I almost said festivus. <laughs> if y'all watch Seinfeld, y'all know what I'm talking about. But anyway, I love this the festival palette. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Um... I was thinking I might want to do like a whole Juvia's Place um, review of all of them because I have all of them at this point saying from the least liked to the most loved. Not to say that I don't, that I dislike any of them. It's just some of them are, eh, I, I don't necessarily use them all the time. And then there's some that I'm like, oh yes, I, I love, I absolutely love, adore this palette. So if y'all would like to see that, let me know because then I'll I work on that because I was, I thought about it, I was like, but does anybody want to see that? If you like to see it, let me know. Anyway, and then my next two are BH Cosmetics. So, it's uh, this. Oh, I forgot about that palette. I got something else. All right, so this is the uh, Take Me to Brazil. And the reason why I want to find, looking at this, and I've had this for a while, is this is because I was saying that I didn't have that many bright colors. I wanted some new bright colors. I was trying to figure out where I could spend some money. And then my friend was like, are you sure about that? And then I said, well, yeah. And then I started looking at my palettes and I saw this one and I was like, oh my God, I forgot I had this. And so I was, I started playing with it and I have it on today. And it's a, if you want to get a bright palette and you want to start playing with brights, I suggest you get this palette. These are pretty much all matte. Some are a little satiny, but really this is a pretty much a matte 
um, you know, these pretty much all go on matte, which I love, you know, because I, I wanted some bright mattes. This is bright mattes. Oh, and, you know, beige cosmetics always goes on sale. And they're very blendable. They're not powdery at all. I thought they were a little powdery, but they weren't when I was working with them. Very, you know, tap your brush into it. Give a little tap off and you will get a great color. This is what I have on today. Worked like a dream. I am in love. I'm like, oh, I got me some colors now, child. And the Zodiac palette. Now, I I, will, I didn't plan on buying the Zodiac palette because I kept hearing people talk about it. I was like, y'all just hyping it up. Y'all just got it in PR. Y'all just hyping it up. But I got to say, oops, this baby is gorgeous. And, the, and see, I've always avoided these. And part of the reason why I didn't want it is because I never wanted those little baked eyeshadows. Because I was like, I don't like them little the little humps because I tried the Laura Geller ones. I went in the store and swatched them and I didn't like them. So I was like, I ain't going to like these because they look like the Laura Geller ones. And I was like, pleasantly surprised. Oh my God. I've played with this. I've done like a lot with the purples because people were getting, you know, my friends get on me because I wear a lot of warm neutrals. So I'm trying to be a little more, I'm, I'm working on being a little more adventurous and bold with my eyeshadows. So I love this because it has a really good color scheme and the, the mattes are so nice. I like the shimmers, but I really, really, really love the mattes. The mattes are so pigmented, are so blendable. They are just beautiful to work with. And you know what? I didn't even notice. I haven't played with this uh, highlighter. Let's see how this highlighter looks. Uh, maybe I should wear that sometime. Oh, I might try that. Don't look too bad. Don't look too bad. Okay. And finally, I forgot about this. This was in my Shop My Stash, which is my Ofra blush palette. And so here it is. And it's expensive. I ain't going to sit up here and lie. I paid like $59 for this. It was a splurge. But I will say these are really nice blushes. And I like it because it really gives you a really good... Um, a, you know range of colors it's not and it's a pretty neutral but you have like some really nice neutrals in here it's more pinks not a lot of reds or anything corally colors but it has a really good you can everybody can find something from you know more deeper skin tone to more fair skin tones they have something for everybody the one i've really been using is this one but these over here are nice too and they don't translate as well on on my camera because I use my phone. We're going to talk about that too. But anyway, I love this is a really good palette. So if you wanted to spend and you like Ofra, this blush palette is really nice. And it's a magnetic palette. And you can change them and stuff. <laughs> anyway. All right. So that's it for my favorites for this month. So, you know, it was next month we'll see what happens. Because the 21 Days of Beauty is coming up. And I'm trying to work on having some extra money for it because the 21 Days of Beauty always just takes me down and spends my money. But anyway, if you liked this, if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. If you saw anything you were like, oh, I'm thinking about doing a BH Cosmetics. I'm going to do the right uh do a review of all my bh cosmetics palettes i don't have that many but i would like to i think i'm just gonna do a total review of them all one time one big video but anyway if you like this video give it a thumbs up let me know what your favorites were this month if you were trying some new things you try some new things out you know something that's one of your ride or dies let me know in the comments i love to hear about them as i always say if you have made it this far and you're brand new you might as well go ahead and hit that subscribe button because it's just like the polite thing to do. You've been here this whole time. You've been hanging out with me in my in my my YouTube home. And on your way out, you should just go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit that little notification bell too while you're doing it. All right, it's your Lulu. May you have a great day and may life treat you kind. Bye-bye.